crazy. I really want to see more people kind of show what that character can do. Yeah, definitely something that Sue can pull out as well. But we've we've seen that he has so many different characters. So I think he also was playing Ken too. Yes, the Ken was probably the worst out of his yeah. anthology of characters from what I've seen, but it it it, it does exist. It just didn't do too hot against all the other Japanese players he was fighting uh, right. at the pre-show. Right. We'll see. Both of you guys have a wide array of characters they can use, so this match is going to be a, a wild card, I say. Mm -hmm. Let's see, though, if uh, Syro can break the win streak that Japan has on the stream so far. Yeah. And, of course, very appropriate all the Japanese players uh, are on the 2GG stream. So. Yeah. I feel like this, at this point, like, 2GG is, like, the Japan mascot art. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we file so many Japanese players each tournament. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. Starting off with the Roy. Interesting pick. Well, not necessarily interesting. Uh, I know that he has said that he might start using the crown more often, so maybe he doesn't want to risk it on, like, a big stage like this. Here we go. Switches the, he switches the hat like Ash Ketchum. <laughs> <laughs> decides to go in here. All righty. Let's see. Whatever, whatever to get you in the zone, man. Yeah. Whatever it takes. But uh, let's see how this one goes. Like, I think Roy's a good pick again. He's a really strong character that can kill Lucario early before he gets to completely uh, take advantage of his aura mechanic mm -hmm. at that super high percent. Yeah. I feel like Roy's one of those characters that can either kill really early or he ends up killing really late. So we'll have to see how Cyril can close out the stocks here. We'll have to find a check chase situation like Force Smash or something like that. But here we go. Yeah, but then again, you have to consider the Lucario he's playing. Best Lucario in the world for like two games in a row now. And uh, Lucario is still not a very common character, so not only do you have to kind of adapt to the matchup, you also have to adapt to the player who's playing at like, a super top level. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, the only other Lucario I know of is Anti, but he's like iffy on that. So. Yeah, I think he's like a secondary Lucario. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see here. I mean, Cyro's trying to play a little bit of a Ooh. careful neutral. He's being very hesitant on the, like when he gets in, but I think Sue is taking advantage of that, knowing that Lucario can be a character that can act a little bit more aggressive because it's like if he wins, sure. If he loses, okay, he's got aura now. Exactly, you know? exactly. Oh, nice ledge jump back here and has him at the ledge to see if he can do anything to mix up here. Nice. D goes very low to stall out the timing of the uh, neutral beat from Roy. Not sure what it's called, like Flare Blade? Uh, I'm not on a on that. It's like Explosive Blade, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that back there is still so powerful. He has just enough aura for it to be dangerous. And uh, I do know Lucario got some decent buffs in the recent patch as well, so mm -hmm. this is just a really good tournament for Sue to showcase how strong this character really is. Great Nair into the crowd, man. He has so many cool things he can do on Chill. Like, that Nair like, actually looks really positive. Mm -hmm. And since he has like pretty decent aerial mobility, he can cross up Shield really safely, it looks like. Right, there it is see. again. Like, he just Nair his Shield and just drifted all the way to the other side before he can do anything out of Shield. As he get back from the ledge, though, He's still, oh, okay, that was very smart. Actually, directional air dodging into the platform. Soon not ready for it. I thought he was drifting towards the stage. Tech chase nice. situation, there we go. Yeah, gets the forward tilt. And yeah. knew that he was going to tech roll away, too. Yeah, he even got the, uh, the dash cancel on it, too. Mm -hmm. To get a little bit extra slide on the, the forward tilt for the tech chase. That was actually really smooth from Cyro. Yeah. I think tech roll in, it's a little bit easier to react to. Tech roll away, you kind of have to commit to it. So I think Cyro was one step ahead there and just knew that, okay, uh, all the Japanese players have been doing tech roll away most of the time, so... Yeah. He's able to get, finally get the stock there. And there we go, another potential big combo here, but just gets broken out by the Nair. Still, Cyro trying his best to even this game up. He's not going, oh, pivot, dang, the pivot with punish F smash. He's like, animation went backwards just enough to make his attack miss. Yeah. Oh, not covering the tech in place. Yeah. Man, that Nair is so good on shield. He's definitely Lucario. got to be careful, but there we go. Finally gets a parry. Try to get a double edge dance set up. Ooh. Force Palm actually does it off the top there. Yeah, having a command grab that kills that high percent is so good for Lucario because he's a character that forces you to shield because he's mm -hmm. so like so scary. His arrows are so like damaging. And then once you start getting conditioned to shield, that uh, that command grab comes in, the side B. Yeah. Nice. Cyro's still trying to figure out the spacing on him. Uh, looks like Sue's just been staying right outside the range most of the time, so a lot of the stuff's been whiffing and he gets a punish out of that. Another opportunity. Oh. Doesn't quite get anything at the ledge. There we go. Right back there, he's standing pretty far off the stage, but now he has that dangerous aura. Nice use of the side B at the ledge to just apply a little bit more pressure, makes the recovery more safe. And he's so patient at the ledge, uh, or sorry, at the shield pressure, that he's waiting for him to press all the buttons and punishing out his shield really well. 
Got to figure aura. out his way in. Oh, man, the aura is so scary. Look at his hands, man. They're all powered yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> Gario is so scary right now. Mm, doesn't get the right positioning for double edge dance. Another back nice. air. There we go. Yeah. Is that fit. parry jab back air? Mm hmm. Smooth. Yeah. Zyro is definitely one of those players in SoCal that very uh, consistent in being able to get getting parries. Much better than uh, other people considerably in the in the region. Yeah. And again, like being able to do that with like a wide array of characters, like he's a very well rounded player. Mm hmm. Oh, I think that fat falling up air might have been an opportunity for this. Getting the up air juggles like that. Really good stuff for Roy at low percent. Oh, gets the grab. The back throw, goes oh. for a tech chase. Mm -hmm. Just ping him in the corner. Just applying lots of pressure. Zyro's going to jump to center stage. Oh, rolls all the way back, loses all the stage control. But he's catching Sue Steve in a little bit. Rage Roy is also scary. Not, maybe not as much as Lucario, but it's still very much a threat. So uh, Cyro is actually in a pretty decent spot right now. Yeah. See if he can get an opportunity, but another throw. Will he try to set up the ledge pressure again? Oh, he caught the neutral get up with the Aura Sphere. Yeah. Okay. Has charged up again. He's waiting so patiently for the neutral get up. Yeah, jumps just, away. just jumps around. Force palm. Oh, that does it. Wow. You know, I think they might have changed something on Lucario because before it did the zoom in when he does the, the force palm like that, but this time it doesn't. I think it's, uh, I've seen it before. I think it's like when you have like a, a lot more aura. He was only at 64 there, so okay. not, that might have been it. Still, really good command grab again, taking two stocks like that. Sue, sealing out the first game. Uh, not too bad from Cyro, though. He definitely made it competitive. Yeah. Not Cyro not even talking. He's like yeah. not even looking at Sue. He's just staying in the zone, man. Yeah. Gotta stay focused. It's like, you know the, that scene where, like, Ash Ketchum has, like, that, that his hat down oh, and, like, you can't see his yeah, eyes? That's exactly yeah. what Zyro looks yeah, like right actually, now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you can't even see it, really. Yeah. It looks like a protagonist in some type of show. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like the choice to stay Roy. His Roy actually performed pretty well. Mm hmm. He just needs to adapt to how Sue's playing a little bit more and clutch out these stocks. And that's really where the struggle is because. If you if you fail to clutch out Stock versus Lucario, you're just passively making him even stronger. Yeah. All right, still so got the trains, putting him off stage. No clear advantage for either player. You can still see Cyro still playing, though. What he's traditionally doing is uh, playing a little bit more patient, trying to figure out passively how to get in, either call something out or just wait for the right opportunity and catch a habit at the same time. Okay. Nice snare into the grab, but not going to get his up air. Cyro, opportunity to apply some pressure here. Nice. Keeping him at the edge of the stage. Doesn't catch the roll. Oh, he does, actually. The dash jabs. Oh. Yeah, that was an opportunity for an forward smash, but decided to reset the situation, get another jab. Nice and the parry, parry comes in. Punish. Wow. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful punch on the parry and then chasing him when he drifted to the center stage. Yeah. Getting the forward smash, I believe. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, I think traditionally, if you block that, then you can't be able to punish it because extreme speed, the end lag on that is significantly reduced. But now, it looks like that <laughs> Cyro has got the parry window down to be able to punish that much faster. Very smart from Cyro. Yes. So he's got to be careful about how he recovers from the stage. Let's see if he can work with his stock lead. Roy is a character that can snowball really well if he gets the right hit. Like uh, falling a uh, near one or like near strings across the stage. Mm -hmm. But there's the back air, man. Catching that neutral get up really solid. Sue, even though he dropped the first stock, didn't really lose his composure. Just stayed playing safe. Wait for his opening to get that stock. Ooh, reverse up air, actually. Just be able to position better to get the sweet spot, probably. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Nice. Nair extension to send him off the stage. Oh, going for the double team on the up B. We're definitely going to see a little bit of that, uh, of that more later on in this set, I feel. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uses the upward variation, the double edge dance, to be able to catch him in on the anti air. Oh, oh boy, that was scary. That was <laughs> such a scary tech chase from Sue. Yeah. Especially with the little bit of aura he has. That mm -hmm. aura boosted F smash from Lucario is devastating. But Cyro keeping him on his toes here. Yeah. Nice. Goes for the throw tech chase. No, he just stays safe. Doesn't want to overextend versus Lucario. Yeah. He's so powerful if he makes a mistake. Great big reverses here. Something else I haven't seen yet from Sue, though, is being able to jump out of that aura spear. That's mm -hmm. like a new mechanic they add in this game. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't quite need it yet. And I feel like Cyro, every time he's going for a tech chase throw, he's waiting for that directional air dodge in again to get a four smash. Not quite finding it, though. He decides so to give up on it. Another opportunity. Oh. Ooh, try to do the neutral beep. Didn't oh. quite work out there. Oh, my goodness. B reverse. Aura Sphere to catch the neutral get up, man. Sue baited him so hard. Mm -hmm. Applied so much pressure just with his movement at the ledge. And now he has a stock lead with 130 aura. His boosted damage boost is going to be very scary. For Sauer to deal with Downer doing 15%, but there it is. Only taking 15, not bad for Sauer at all. 
Again, yeah. keeping it really close. Mm -hmm. He just needs like one good string. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, but still trying to figure it out his way in. Sue going back to on the aggressive, it looks like, but Cyro, when he's playing defensive, can't quite figure out his way in either. Yeah. Sue kind of dictating the the flow in the match in that way because he's the one that starting the aggression. It looks like Cyro's more so focused on trying to get away rather than starting something of his own as well. Yeah, he's. I think he's just trying to respect Ricardo as much as he can, so he doesn't overextend and just die really early to like some aura shenanigans. But yeah. like you said, that's giving Sue a little bit more room to breathe and play more comfortably. But spot dodge, S smash, Cyro getting some really good hits right now. Yeah, I got another opportunity here. Oh, oh. great empty hop. Oh, he oh. fell out of the double-edged dance setup. Yeah, that could have been potentially the game right there. Yeah, that's got be. He's very strong at the ledge. Really. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got nice a couple opportunities here. Oh, man, he wanted to bait the shield drop. Can we get a jab back here, Cyro, though? What's he doing here? Very patiently. Oh. Yeah, SoCal starting to get a little bit more rowdy in the back, too. He, they wanted to close out this game, but Aura gets Spirit a little too greedy. Alive, but he has a max charge Aura Spear again. Jumper wide. Oh, oh he tried jump. to catch that. I, I had the same read as Sue, but it didn't quite work out there for him. The pressure, but no force palm comes out. Woo! Oh, goodness, so scary. This is the jab back air setup. Goes for it up air instead. Oh, man, this is still looking for that jab. It's not coming out into fruition. He's looking and for something. Finally gets the fair to put him off stage. He has the aura charge a little bit too. The aura sphere is really dangerous right now. Oh my goodness, what a mix up from Sue. Oh, he had the oh. spot dodge ready though, but couldn't find oh. anything. And there it is. The aura yeah. sphere will take out the next game too. I couldn't tell if Cyro pressed a button there or just wasn't timing his uh, shield on the aura sphere, but still really good snipe from Sue. Very scary position to be in with your, when you're fighting a high percent Lucario. All of his attacks can kill you. And if you make one mistake, you're dead. But Hanks, I, I really do respect how patiently uh, Cyro is playing right now. He's mm -hmm. not really cracking under the pressure, really. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's just not able to clutch off these stocks when he needs to. Yeah, this is one of those things that I feel like he's being a just a little too careful because he's had opportunities to do something. But I think he's assuming that some things are safer than they actually are. Right. So that gives Sue a lot more opportunities to be uh, to get out of things unscathed. So I think that's one of the biggest issues here. But Cyro decides to go back to nods with the yes. Didn't even give him an opportunity yeah. to ban some stages. So here we go. We'll see. Cyro, again, he's playing really well. He just isn't finding the clutch factor on these stocks. And that's where he really needs to start closing out these games. But Sue, doing a good job of racking up the percent here. Nice jabs on the landing, though, from Cyro. Keeping him pinned to the ledge. What's his pressure here? Nice. Gets the neutral get up. He's only just mashed and pummeled. Get as much damage as he can by keeping him at the ledge. One thing, though, I really need to see from Cyro is a uh, great tech chase, but I really want to see the jab back air. Is if he was getting the jab back air and say, like, his jab up air confirmed, I think he would have uh, killed a little bit earlier. Yeah. And we saw yeah. Sue again doing the directional air dodge in, but Ooh. not quite ready for it, but the back air. Sweet, yeah, sweet spot back air. Again, Cyro getting the first stock. He's at a much uh, lower percent than he was the previous game when he got the first stock, though, so he might be able to do something here to get the uh, bigger lead than before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Staying in center stage. He's going to let Sue charge up for free. Doesn't want to do anything too risky to drop his percent lead. Yeah. And his stock lead, too. Yeah. But there we go. Gets a oh. grab confirm. Oh, he tried to fast fall up there. He knows he gets a lot of damage if he starts to combo from that, but whiffs right in his face and gets hit by the forward smash. Sue evening it up pretty well already. Great movement from Lucario. Still trying to figure out his way in. Now he's lost the lead very slightly, but still got some opportunities here. Oh, unsafe. Dash yeah. grab attempt, get some punish with the up throw up air, continue with the nair. So he's just chipping away at this lead, slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Okay, big opportunity. Four throws him off. Another less trap situation. Just goes over the same option. Yeah, Sue, I think he's fine because he's not getting a hard <clears throat> punish and just gets more or Oh, speaking of hard punishes, though. Yeah, Syro finally be able to find an opportunity for that force smash. I feel like he hasn't landed that in a while. Oh, okay. I like the early choice of the up B. Yep, makes it back just fine. Oh, oh man, Syro, he's just scrambling a little bit when he's up close situations. But jab is really safe, though, luckily for Syro. Yeah. Sue looks like the one now that's trying to figure out how to be a little bit safe, but then not quite punishing what he thinks is available. And now Cyro getting a little bit more aggressive this time around. He's definitely trying to pressure Sue a little bit more, not getting him his opportunities to charge or to really set up into his oh, spacings. Sue again going over that double team, but Cyro saving his recovery at the, for the last second. But there's the back air. 
I think he caught him uh, going up from his down tilt animation. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if Saro can work with this lead, though. He's been playing really well. Goes for the upwards double edge dance, sent him in the air. Trying to pin him to the corner, but not able to get that much damage. There's a jab into the flare blade, or the flare blade? The double edge dance, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that move is so scary. Yeah. Got another opportunity. Uh -huh. Try to set it up again. Didn't quite find it. Yeah, in situations like that, I'm really looking for that jab back air instead of going for the side B. But mm -hmm. maybe he doesn't want to steal his back air. Yeah, I probably think it wouldn't kill yet, but that mix-up would have, so decided to go for it. But I think Sue was one step ahead there. And now Sue's pretty much even the game already. Might even be more scary for him since he has the aura now. Ooh. Safe back air on shield. Does a lot of shield damage as well. Oh, my goodness. The clank on F-Smash with down tilt. Crazy. Sue, though, gets the situation. upper hand in that situation. Get up attack, actually catches Sue off guard, and then a backer. Oh, oh that almost living. did it. Yeah, really good DI. Oh, he messed oh. up his ledge trump. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but he Falls still survives. We're, we're wait, still wait. in here. Watch the OR spear, though. Oh, oh he, he didn't get, get the roll, chase. but he got that, an opportunity. Oh, he misses Jeff back there. Okay, he's at the ledge, though. He can actually punch him really hard. Doesn't cover the roll. Yeah, Watch Sue the rolling spear. for free right now. Oh, oh. OR spear set up. One more oh, time. No tech. Oh he actually gets a game off that. I couldn't tell if he was going for the startup of double team at the ledge to cover the up B, but he definitely misplaced his positioning on the ledge there, and that's actually <laughs> going to let Cyril steal that game back. Yeah, just right, finally, right underneath him, yeah. Finally, finally clutching out a game. A little bit due to Sue's error, but we'll take those. Yeah. I mean, he was able to survive that long. I think Sue kind of cracked under pressure, too. He was trying to find those setups as well with our sphere, but none of them were connecting, so Cyro. Finally putting one on the board, not going down without a fight. Let's see if he can try and get some momentum swinging back in here. Switching them to Gold Roy this time. All right, let's see. Okay, Pokemon Stadium 2 for Sue here. I think they played first game on this stage. I'm not completely sure, but this is a really strong stage for most characters in this game. It's like pretty much considered a, a, the neutral stage for everyone. Like, everyone wants to start on the stage. It's like mm -hmm. as soon as the set starts. Yeah. It's a little so bit more wider range of space, so I think Lucario has a little bit more time to set up what he wants with Aurasphere, and then Cyro would be have to force to approach a bit more. Looks like he's not quite figuring that out quite yet. It looks like Sue has got a decent lead so far, without any aura even. Yeah, he's doing a good job of just pressuring uh, Cyro really well, mm -hmm. not even taking any percent. Just the spacing on his moves is just impeccable. I think that's just something that's been a trend for all the Japanese players on stream so far. They're really good at just playing defensively and spacing their aerials on like max range or like in a safe way to where even if they hit their shield, like they won't get punished for it. Yeah. And still you have to get touched on this stock. Sue is just spacing impeccably right now. Mm -hmm. I think for both of these players, uh, Cyro more so in this game too, is that I think he's been figuring out that like if he plays with uh, without purpose on some of his buttons, then he gets blown up for it. Right. So he's playing more so that <laughs> where he doesn't throw out an attack unless he absolutely needs to, or he like he intends to. There's like no mashing oh, going on, you know. Goodness. Force palm still not enough to do he's it. Only alive because he doesn't have enough aura to kill. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. This, that's how solid Sue is playing. Mm -hmm. Finally gonna get some damage tacked on though. That might actually be better or worse. I'm not 100 percent sure to be Ooh, honest. Ooh, okay. Rogue up B. I like it. Uh huh. And maybe he can get an early kill with the rage he has right now. Roy is really strong. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see. He has to get it off of the ledge first. Oh, my God. The timing on that was perfect. Wow. I think Cyro thought he would be trying to read a jump. So he would, like, jump or spear so he do it for neutral get up. But mm -hmm. Sue covered it immediately. That was actually really good from Sue. Right. And now this time he's working with the stock lead, which we didn't see for the past two games. A B.I. shield, though, from Cyro. Just racking up the safe percent. Not going to kill, but... Sitting him off the stage. Let's see if he can actually connect anything that can get the stock. Yeah, it's actually really rough right here, Trump, but, but there, there we go. it is. Only yeah. taking 15%. Clean stuff from Cyro. Got himself another opportunity here. Yeah, just spacing himself out. Trying to make Sue make a mistake right now, but looks like Sue's just being a little bit too slippery with this movement. Yeah, Sue also knows a lot of uh, what Roy wants to start a combo with, too, so he's staying out of the area where he can get hit by that potentially. Like mm -hmm. a fa falling up air, like a mirror on shield or a falling fair. He's not really getting hit by any of those starters. There we go. Nice. Starts getting a little bit more damage. Yeah, really good juggles here. Just taking him from one side of the stage to the next. Mm -hmm. yeah, really, Sue's been able to intercept on air-to-air -air combat very nicely. Cyro really being a little bit too passive sometimes. I feel like he 
hasn't quite started any aggression, but finally got an opportunity, but yeah, doesn't take it too far. Oh, missing the tech chase. Yeah, Cyro trying to start a falling up air setup at low percent. But there it is, jab near to the forward air. Oh, the drift on that up B was so good. He went right behind him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another R sphere. Okay, jumps this time. Good mix up from the ledge. Yeah. Not going to give him another neutral give, potentially get blown back on. Okay. Back throw. Tech chase here. Oh, oh, good shield pressure, though. Yeah. You, you retreat the center stage. You fix the orange beer out. Okay. Sue. Nice. Yeah, setup. The classic setup still working in this game. Mm -hmm. Popping him up with the orange beer charge at the ledge, cover the neutral get up, and then just hit the back air. Yeah, definitely Stock worked out for him right there. Now. Potentially the last stock for Cyro in the winner's bracket. All right, Sue let's see. playing really well right now. Cyro is trying to play a little bit more aggressive, open up Sue. He's been falling out of that jab uh, side B a lot. Mm -hmm. I think he's only got it to connect one time so far in this set. All right, let's see if oh. he can try and get the stock. Oh, oh he got a little too greedy on that one. Yeah, that move looks like it would have more lag after that, but that's one of the changes Lucario got in this game to where he can actually safely bounce off the ground. Mm -hmm. Great roll there to get past the neutral B at the ledge. Sue just steadily racking up the percent, just getting all these hits to further his lead. Oh, I like that, the B reverse to try and mix him up on which side he was ending up on. The ledge traps again, but Cyro makes it back. He's got to oh, yeah. figure out how to way to close out the set. This is what I was talking about before, is that Roy can either kill really early, or it's just difficult for him to get something going. Still not enough on the back air. Okay, but he does have a ledge play. There he is. He waits the shield this time. See if he can force a spot dodge, but Sue's playing really safe. Okay. Yeah, still not able to find it. Another opportunity here. Oh, oh the B reverse. Oh. Tricky stuff from Sue taking it 3-1. Cyro played so well each game, but just really